Johannes, or Jan Verkulge was a Dutch Golden Age painter and engraver, often called Jan I to distinguish him from his son Jan II. He is known for his portraits and genre pieces. Biography Verkulge was baptized in the New Wayside's Capelle as the son of Benjamin Jacobses, a locksmith, and Maria Tunz. The couple lived not far away in Regulia Breestraat, near the Munt Torren. Within the same year his brother Jacob was baptized. Jan became a student of Jan Andrea Levens, the son of Jan Levens. According to Arnold Hobraken, he was a wonder kind, whose talent started with an accident. As a child playing with darts, he had the unfortunate accident of receiving a dart in his heel, which began to fester so that he needed to lie in bed for months to alleviate the infection. While in bed a man named Bronk Horse gave him some prints to copy, and thus he took up drawing and spent the rest of his career learning drawing techniques on his own. With the same amount of dedication, the young Jan Verkulge learned the art of perspective within a month. Then he took up painting in oils, and copied the works of Gerard van Zyl, also known as Gerard's. He became so good at imitating his style, that when he finally took art lessons from Jan Lievens the Younger, Lievens recognized Gerard's style immediately and later asked him to finish the unfinished paintings he bought from the estate of Gerard's after his death. Lievens then offered him a present, namely to witness the sale of these paintings whereby the buyers claimed they were too good to be by Levens and thus must have been by Gerard's. They were then sold as Gerard's paintings. This experience only fueled the artistic fervor of Verkulge further. Hobraken also claimed that Verkulge discovered the mezzotin technique on his own, and both Abraham Blotterling and Wailerant Valent marveled at his ability. In the Ramp Jar 1672 he moved from Amsterdam via Schillerwoden to Delft, where he married in October 1672 with Judith Vorhul. He became a member of the Guild of Saint. Luke in 1673 serving as its dean between 1678 and 1688. Verkulge became very successful and would sell to the court in The Hague. His sons Nicolas Verkulge and Jan II also became painters. His other pupils were Albertus van der Birch, Joan van der Spriet, Willem Verschoring, and Thomas van der Wilt. In addition to this list of names, Hobraken also mentions Henrik Steenwinkel. Verkel died in Delft in 1693 aged 43 at the peak of his fame, and was buried in the Kirk. He left a wife, three sons and two daughters. Hobraken intended to write a biographical sketch of Nicolas but never got that far. He died in 1719 before publication of Volume 3, which contains Jan Verkulge's biographical sketch, works, Venus and Adonis, which became a popular print. Here van der Huel, the children of the mayor Peter Tedding van Berkhout, the children of Jacob van Vrieden Birch van Adrichem and Catherine van der Goes. Portraits of the lawyer de Bries and his wife, the minister Gerard Brandt, Gerard Brandt's son Jan Brandt and Jan Brandt's wife. In 1674 he painted Johann de la Fie and his wife, both portraits are owned by the Wadsworth Athenaeum. The lawyer Bogart, in 1685, a music party, from the permanent collection of the Utah Museum of Fine Arts.